Hello YouTubers. I got the old woodpile CNC fired up and uh, I'm going to cut some L's out of uh, this inch thick pink foam I found at uh, Home Depot. I've already cut a few. Need a few more. So I thought I'd film it. Show the machine in action. I call it the woodpile CNC because it was literally made out of wood off of my wood pile for the most part. It's got drawer slides for the axes and some threaded rod for the lead screws and um, some salvaged stepper motors to move the axes. Uh, a roto zip locked in over here on the z-axis to do the cutting. Got my trusty old ancient XP laptop running Mach 3 to do the cutting. A few other odds and ends here. Uh, that's the uh, three axis stepper motor controller and power supply down there. Sooner or later, I'm going to mop, mount that in a permanent enclosure with some fans to keep the heat sink for the. Uh, for the power transistors cool because it gets kind of warm on long cuts and heat is the enemy of electronics so I'm going to keep that cool and the all important dust removal system shop vac long hose up here not perfect but it gets a lot of the dust keeps the shop from getting too dusty so let me get started Let's listen to a little of the music of the mill. Love that sound. Just love that sound. All right, I'm going to get it set up, and uh, once I'm ready to start cutting, I'll show you that. Okay, everything's lined up, zeroed out, and ready to go. Ready to start it up. Now, once I start it up, you won't be able to hear any narration from me because uh, of the noise that the, uh, the router and the vacuum are going to be making. So, I'll probably put some captions on the video from here on out to explain what's going on. Let's get started. I got my hearing protection on. Ready to go.
Well, there we are. I got another L. I wasn't going to make you guys sit through the uh, whole whole process of cutting each layer. I know uh, that's a long time in internet time, and uh, people get itchy mouse fingers and they move on to the next video. So, anyway, it turned out pretty good. It was pretty good. I forgot to mention one important feature of uh, the wood pile here is I have a uh, an interruptible power supply down here that runs the electronics and the router so that if I have a glitch in the power while I'm in the middle of a cut I don't lose it and the, bat the, the laptop of course will run on its battery so that will keep going and still sending um, commands to the uh, motion controllers so as long as I can keep the uh, the motors turning and uh, the router running during a cut I won't lose any uh, I won't lose the cut if the power glitches, which has happened to me a couple of times. You know, I'll be in the middle of a long cut, the power will glitch, and uh, it's ruined. So, the uh, little UPS system is, uh, is a worthwhile investment. So, the old wood pile works pretty good. I mean, it's not super accurate, but it's good enough for what I'm doing with it. Um, using it to, to cut out letters, and uh, what else am I doing with it lately? Cutting out some slumping mold patterns. This is actually concave. I don't know if you can see that. It has quite the deep curve to it. I'm going to cast some refractory plaster in there and make a convex mold for slumping telescope mirror blanks. So the old wood piles working pretty well. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.